So um, that's, I need to put that away, right from the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna show, I'll, I'll send you this document later. So if you can hear me right enough, so this this question is a lot easier than it, it looks once you, you know that. Um, once you know the way of doing that. So most mechanics things, it helps to have a visual diagram to work with. Uh, and then you would usually have something, either a simultaneous equation or a bit of geometry or a bit of vector algebra in order to get that. So that's a fairly straightforward one. You just should practice. Um, some of them I probably need to look at and have a, have a go at. So I'm going back to this one and it talks about a particle. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and send, send you them, uh, whatever I can attempt. So this one talks about a particle going along a straight line relative to the fixed point. Oh, so we model this as, um, so this will be a cubic polynomial. And generally, if, so I can probably draw a diagram to demonstrate what these look like. I don't want a 3D model. Uh, insert uh, shape. And uh, I'll just do two lines. Oops. Uh, and this will probably, yeah, I'm going to go below the, the line. So we have, and the graph something like we know it starts off at zero we know it goes up at some point i'm gonna go down and probably go up again and then this is your your general cubic polynomial shape and we know that starts here at Yes. Okay. So, um, And get rid of the text box here. We can in shape. Uh, you put line just just for neatness. No line. Okay, and this is just going to be what whatever x, no, no, I don't know if it's going vertical or horizontal, but we know it's going in one direction and from a, from an origin point. And we know that it will go past that. So the, the, the graph will be something that looks like that. So this will be, this is an X, a, a distance time graph. And the key things we need to know here, is that I, I can have a little circle. 
it's something very, very small. You should know so you should know that point. No. That point. No. That point. Um, we should know that point. So each of them we correspond. But the, the first thing that I'm starting off with is probably the most obvious, is there might still be a point in this. And this is what happens at t equals zero. Calculate the initial position. Now t is zero, so t equals zero. We get p naught equals zero cubed minus six zero plus eight zero. So this is just this uh, keyboard formula. Okay. Uh, moving along a straight line. So effectively, while it is moving on a straight line, this is this is it's. So T equals not. Uh, so the next step, what have I done here? Step two is to find points where it is at T or T or PT equals zero. No. Okay, so done that. It probably should be there. I wonder if it's not. So all I've done here is set this cubic equation to zero to find out where, where it is going to be zero. And I've um, so this is going to be, so I've taken T out of the equation. Factorize um, T. This step, I, this step is not needed, yeah. That's just repeating what I had before. And um, I've I've used um, algebra to uh, solve the and radic. Side. So I've I've managed to be able to, to to factorize a quadratic. So the particle passes through O at three points. T equals zero, and T equals two, T equals four. So it passes through, yeah, and so two. Make it that a bit of fold so it looks better. So step three. Is to find the turning points. I'm gonna use the word here, free, consistent. And the turning points happen when we use the derivative. 
and so uh, let me put the equation here. So P P. Okay, so it's going to also the uh, maybe with the initial piece that was in case I need it again p cubed minus six p squared plus eight p. Okay, just in case I need that again. So we take the derivative. So derive. P and we will find turning points at PT zero there. And we are going to try and solve this by a quadratic formula. Okay. So a turning point happens when the derivative is equal to zero, and that would represent a point where there's no velocity and there's no change in gradient. So if I were to, so we're looking at these points here, where the velocity at this point would be absolutely flat, and down here, velocity that would be absolutely flat. I'm gonna to have to group these again. So this, these are your two turning points. Fault. And when we use the quadratic equation, this you should be able to solve it, use it, use a calculator. I've sort of done the mental arithmetic here. You get two plus or minus four over three. And that gives you two times. So if we know that, we know that the particle instantaneously stops and changes direction at these two times. So I'm just gonna make that look better by using the equation version of these. Uh, T equals Old. No. No. It's not point eight four five. Uh so I'm gonna use step four. Uh I don't know if this is something they ask, but find second turning points. Yeah. This is find the nature of turning points. In the second derivative. So We know that, then we know general way a second derivative is done. It's the minus 12. I'm just going to give that a, a bit of a page break. Uh, not entirely sure that this is required because I've got the you can probably infer this, but if you do any sort of calculus, you can find out when something is a local max or a local min by using the second derivative. And if it's negative, 
this value is negative. So it is a local maximum. Uh, just a bit of calculus uh, theory. So I'm not sure. I will say, not sure if this is this is needed. So you should so check worked examples. Um, but anyway, so. But this would tell you at the uh, stop rising and falls towards O and now I've got that answer, so I, I think what I need to do is. Yeah, there's a fifth step. Five. All right, that turning point. So. And all you do here is solve the value of P into uh, PT formula. Okay. That's your initial. Oh gosh, I think these were, these would be wrong. Yeah, these are wrong. Whoops. Good thing I looked. So, um, yeah, these are wrong, so it's a good thing I checked. It's good to have that down. squared plus eight, seven, five. I don't know what it is yet. Um, well, we're going to use Excel to solve this quickly. You have your calculator. I don't. Sorry. Ah. Uh. I can't believe it. I work out that this is the exact same phi. Yeah. Okay. So, and the other one is. Mm -hmm. 
four. Well, these were the right answers. I must have just wrote it down wrong. So, uh, I'm just going to incorporate this. So after t equals zero, the particle moves positively away from O until t where t equals not 0.8545, where it changes direction towards O at and at t equals four. Okay. To where it changes direction towards all. Gosh, uh, I'll send you these answers in a moment, but um, maybe maybe tomorrow. Okay, so uh, what do here is get this diagram. Are you able to follow this right in the chat? Uh, I used to make my own notes. Everyone would, would love them, but uh, yeah. But I might even take a print screen of that. But, uh, probably. Nah, is this? Okay. And get point. You can get points for every step of the question. So, is there any one that? Um, so I'm, I'm just going to take a print screen until open. Uh, okay. So just, just this is a memory aid for me for my answer. Might be a memory aid for you. So. So. After t equals zero, the... I'm also going to take a bit of a break here. Insert page break. So after t equals zero, the particle moves possibly away from O until t equals not point eight four five, and you can probably say s equals what do we work it out to be oh 
Now we worked out here. Up 3.72. I can be right. Yeah. Oh no, it is right. 3.7, yeah, 3.078. Oh seven eight. When it changes direction towards O and at t equals two, so um, actually I shouldn't say x. It's s or it's x. Uh, I can just say x equals zero. One more past the opposite x until there, which is x equals minus. 3.078 oh, and we're opposite direction where it passes through O at T equals 4 and X equals 0 where it continues to move past O in this direction from this time onward. So essentially this particle is moving this direction and X uh, up, you know, it could be up, it could be forward. It's moving in one direction. So uh, I don't want to say it's moving up or down. It's just moving this way and then it moves that way and then it moves this way and it keeps on moving this way forever. So there's my answer here in that box. Okay. So uh, the trick of that question is to find the key points where you would get points for working out. And then for full marks, you have to do the big, long English explanation of what's going on. And I think a diagram might give you a bit of extra marks if you can work out what the polynomial is. Now, I was able to, um, yeah. I probably know this from from how the polynomial. So I know that it's probably going to add up. So turning points, uh, where one is nature of turning points. And uh, motion towards infinity. Those are and yeah, try and I'm not gonna waste too much time on this, but I'll try and Right, so it's it's a fairly easy question if you know your calculus, but it, it can be a bit tricky. So the second part of this question is a bit easier. A particle moves moves in direction relative to a fixed point O. It's given by a quadratic formula, a quadratic formula, and the other is moving in that. So uh and the question is determine whether or not the particles collide. Uh, so assume that the particles move in a straight line, i.e. one dimensional and uh, so it's it's basically a PT graph. So let's see. I always find my our step very right, simple step here. I would uh, find the main formulas. So that, that extracts them from the wall of text that you're, you're dealing with. Okay. Uh, second step is Explain the criteria for a collision. And it's very simple. They 
right here for collision. Uh, so that is particles must be in the same place at the same time. So for collision at some time t, okay. Another thing is a few things about time. Time must be positive and a real number. So and that's what I am saying so that and t is greater than zero. Maybe it should be greater than right. Okay. So we're closing P A equals T at some point. So we're going to sum the formative. Spell it completely wrong. The affirmative. So so page break. So step 